I'm Atuba Judge and I'm so blessed and glad to be bringing God's truth to you. Today is Friday, praise God. Hey, today is the first Friday in the month of October. Guess what? A blessing is coming your way. Now, why is a blessing coming your way? Because God has opened the book and he's dealing with you from everything that is written in that book. And I said, this book is the unedited version. Praise God. The original one. It has not been edited. It's not, he's not working out according to where you are today. He's, he's actually bringing you according to what he has written in that book. Before going to today's broadcast, I want you to believe God right now. And join me in faith to call and demand for your daily bread. Are you ready? Say with me, Father. I demand right now my daily bread. It's coming to me in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. So I'll show you something in the book of Revelation. The Lord has told us this month is the opening of the book. He's opening that book, the unedited version of your life. Praise God. And, 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 and he's doing this in your life. Believe God. And believe me when I tell you God has spoken to me. Believe me. Because he will do what he has said. I told you yesterday, hold on to this verse 10. Revelation chapter 5. Hold on to it. And write it so that, I, make it your screensaver, whatever you want to do with it. But make it bold that you remember it every time. You remember it. And each time you remember it, you worship him. You worship him. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Now, I told you this book was so important. That no one has seen what is inside. No one has, has, has looked into it. No one was even qualified to open it. But Jesus did qualify. He prevailed. So he was given the right to open the book and the authority to open it, to look into it. And so he began to unloose, he began to loosen the seal that sealed the book, seven seals. And every seal he removes, you hear this thing happened on the earth. This, I saw this happen and I saw this happen. He, now by the time he got to the seventh seal, then he revealed seven trumpeters angels with trumpets and they began to sound their trumpet one after the other now i told you all these things were things that were challenging the revealing of the content of that book so as as they were warring against him god was executing judgment because god was determined that nothing is going to stop him now. And this is a pattern of what is going to be taking place. So what I'm teaching you now is truly taking place in your life. I want you to understand this. I'm teaching prophetically now. So what I'm teaching you is taking place in your life. So you become the evidence of the fulfillment of what John was talking about. So, at each seal that is open, trouble. Now, it continues. Remember I told you that there is a song that the 24 elders were singing. I remember I told you to keep that in mind. Now, they began to open the seal and different things happened. Sounding the trumpet. They began to sound the trumpet. Now, I want us to go to chapter 11. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, Rakumna Velege de Bragadari. Now remember, six seals. When the sixth seal, seven seals, when the seventh seal was opened, seven trumpeters ar ar arose and they began to blow one after the other. Now, in, in, in chapter 11, verse 15, I want you to see something here. See something here. 
It says, Then the seventh angel sounded, and there was there were loud voices in heaven saying, the, Note this, there were loud voices in heaven saying, after the sound of the seventh trumpet, The kingdoms of this world have become the kingdoms of our God and of his Christ, and he shall reign forever and ever. And the 24 elders who sat before God and on, his, and on their thrones fell down on their faces and worshipped God, saying, We give you thanks, O Lord God Almighty, the one who is and who was and who is to come, because you have taken your great power and have reigned. Re you remember in, in, in chapter 5 and verse 10, it says he has made us kings and priests, unto our God, and we shall reign on the earth. Then he began to open the seal. From opening the seal, he began to blow the trumpet. Now at the seventh trumpet, which is part of revealing the content of that book, all this drama you are seeing is because of the content of that book. So now at this point, that this was a series of events afterwards, after this, the, the, the book, he yeah, started opening the book. Now, at this point, when the seventh angel sounded its trumpet, this was the declaration. The kingdoms of this world have become the kingdoms of our Lord. Now, by this time, the earth has been read of certain individuals. For now, before the earth, before the kingdom of this world became the kingdom of our God, that's to tell you that previously, before now, the kingdom of this world was not the kingdom of our God. Because the kingdom of this world have become. It was a celebration. It have become the kingdom of our God. So whose kingdom was it before? It wasn't the kingdom of our God. Though he owned it, he created it, but it was hijacked by the devil. But while these judgments began, by the opening of the seal, by the sounding of the trumpet, and then he got to this place where they declared, now it has happened. The kingdom of this world have become the kingdoms of our Lord and of his Christ. Take notes. You remember, he says, we shall reign on the earth. Now, reigning on the earth is talking about the kingdom of this world. The kingdoms of this world. Now, he says here that the kingdoms of this world have become the kingdoms of our Lord and of his Christ. Meaning, Jesus is the one that is going to be reigning. How is Jesus going to be reigning? He has made us kings and priests unto our God and we shall reign on the earth. Now that is what that was the response the 24 elders, elders said when he took that book to open it. They said, yes, finally, it is time. And this is what he has made us. We will reign on the earth. Now, here, the pr processes have taken place and the seventh angel have sounded and then he says, hey, the kingdom of this world have become the kingdoms of our God and he, thank you Lord Jesus, and he shall reign forever and ever. Why? Those who hijacked the thrones of the kingdoms of this world, they were flushed out. Oh, you didn't hear me. I'll say it again. Those who have hijacked the thrones of the kingdoms of this world. Now, when he said the kingdoms of this world, I needed to understand something. You know, sometimes, oh, no, no, he is not. He is talking about the kingdom of the church. He's talking about the kingdoms of this world. The kingdoms of this world. Every nation under heaven. Every kingdom. Your nation, every seat of authority, God is going to flush out everyone that he has not put by himself there.
It's part of the opening of the books. Hear me, I'll say it again. There is a shaking that will begin to happen. And that shaking will shake out everyone who have manipulated themselves to a physical throne. He's not talking about spiritual throne. He is shaking them off. Now, this is the reason Satan has come all out to get these things by any means. He has done everything possible to take the thrones, to take the kingdoms of this world. He wants it. Why? Because he wants to dictate how your life should be. Kings are powerful, brothers and sisters. Now, when you say kings, we mean governors, presidents of nations, governors of regions. They are all kings. If they belong to the devil, oh, don't expect anything good from them. I'm telling you, whatever they tell you is just false hope to trap you down. But while they were doing all these things, I told you before, God was silent. He was not fighting. God's never going to enter into strife with any man. No, praise God. He's never going to enter into strife. So don't think God will, no, Satan, you cannot have it your way. You can, you're the one that is praying like that, not the Holy Spirit. God's not praying like that. Think God is the one that he prays. Satan, you cannot have your way. No, I, I, I challenge you. Uh-huh. The book is written and is sealed. Hey, he doesn't even know the content of the book. That's the funny thing. But he dreads the opening of the book because he knows that it is his judgment. Because then it will be revealed that everything he has done was done in darkness and false. They are all false. So the same thing with every seat of authority. The same thing with every president, every governor that have forced their way into any seat of authority. No, the, the battle is not yours. I, I need you to hear me. This battle is not yours. Why would God allow them? He, 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 we prayed. We, we did everything we're supposed to do. Relax. The book is closed. It has been closed. But guess what? He's not writing it now. It is closed for a reason. But now the Lord is saying the book is being opened. And when it opens, uh -huh, judgment begins. And when judgment begins, thrones will be overthrown. Kings will be taken out of their place. Rulers will be crushed and destroyed. And when God is doing this, he's not doing this. God, why? Nah, there is no, you see, when God is executing judgment on the earth, he does it without looking back. You know why? He allowed you, that's the wicked, he allowed you to do your best. He gave you the time. He gave you the opportunity. You crushed God's people. He did not talk. You did all manner of evil. You felt you were the one on the throne. You, you felt you had all the power. You felt no one could stop you. God did not say anything. At that time, the Christians were praying. It looked like their God was not answering. Even you as a child of God, you began to wonder, but why? How come God's silent? How come? We prayed now. We, 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 we fasted. We did everything we were supposed to do. How come God didn't give us our expectation? He didn't give you your expectation because it's not your expectation. It has already been written in his book. And the book has been sealed all this while. He's not going to change what is written in the book. Satan has, does not have access to the book to edit it. He, nothing can be done about it. It is finished already. Don't you get it? Everything Satan is just doing is pulling stones to buy time. But hey, listen, his time is still short. So no need to cry. No need to be weary. Some people, oh God, I, I thought God was going to do. He didn't do it. Ah, me, I don't know whether I can believe in God anymore. Hey, not now. Praise God. The book is about to be opened. He is opening the book, says the Spirit of the Lord. Let it not be that when your portion is announced, you are not there to receive it. Relax, my friend. 
Relax. God is in full control. Nobody can change his mind. He says, I am the Lord. I do not change. Therefore, you sons of Jacob, you will not be consumed. See that now? He, he, what? Change from what? From what he has determined to do right from the beginning. Oh, why is God silent? He's silent. Because what is he talking for? Satan is making all the noise. He's not going to join into that shouting match with Satan. Never. Never. You shouldn't either. Learn to relax. Learn to have rest for your soul. Relax. Relax. You have prayed, right? Uh-huh. God spoke to you, right? Uh-huh. Relax. Let them do their thing. Let them have their way. You remember Joseph? Oh, they sold him into Egypt. They pushed him everywhere. They did all manner of evil against him. But well, guess what? Who had the testimony at the end? Joseph. Jacob, the same thing. Laban tried to cheat him in every way. Whose wealth do we know about? Do we even know what Lord Laban had? had? We didn't know. But we knew Jacob became wealthy from that same house that he labored almost in vain. You see that? Because it is written in the book. And in this season when the book is being opened, you must pay attention like never before. Pay attention like never before. I'm going to start teaching you certain things about prayer and how you should begin to pray in this season from Monday. Listen to me. When God says he's opening the book, you must pay close attention. Close. Close attention. Close. Because you're walking with your father. You're walking with your father. And if you're walking with your father, you've got to pay attention to him. Not him paying attention to you now. No, you are the one paying attention to him. What's father doing right now? What's father doing right now? That's why James said, if any man lack wisdom, let him ask. Lord, what's on your mind? What's on your mind right now? Praise God. Yeah, yeah. The prayer you should be praying the most in this season is for wisdom. It's for wisdom. 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 Let God reveal his mind to you. Praise God. Something is happening already. Oh, you don't know. There is a wind that is blowing. Yes. You see, when he began to open the sea, the wind started blowing. And that wind, guess what the wind was doing? It was washing away the wicked. It was blowing off the wicked out of their place. Now, they felt they were rising to resist, but they didn't know they were showing themselves so that they would be flushed out. So at every rising, they were revealed. They were flushed out. Until, now they kept flushing and flushing and flushing and flushing until we got here where they declared the kingdom of this world have become the kingdom of our God. And then they fell down on their feet and they began to worship. And look at what they say. We give thanks. We give you thanks, O Lord God Almighty, the one who is and who was and who is to come. And because you have you have taken your great power. Hallelujah. You have taken your great power and have reigned. Glory to God. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. He has taken his great power and he has reigned. Glory. That is our declaration in this season. That is our confession. How, how will he reign? Through you, through us. So get ready, brothers and sisters. If you are a child of God, come and number it down, but not for leak it here. Something is about to happen to put you in the right position and is beginning this month in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I pray for you that you will find your place. You will find your place. You will be in the right place, in tune to the Spirit of God to guide you into what to do daily. And by your guidance, you will find your inheritance and you will reign with him. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I bless you today. Receive the fruit of salvation today. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you. Have the best weekend ever. I'm going to see you Monday.